Hey guys, it's Mel and no, this is not clickbait. <laughs> I really did get a pair of shorts from the thrift shop for $5 and while photographing them to resell on eBay to make profit, I found hundreds of dollars in the back pocket. <laughs> Let me give you some history on all this and show you what I found. If you followed me for a while, you know that I'm primarily a full-time bookseller. But before I moved into books full-time, I did have a general store where I sold clothes, shoes, plush toys. So even though I'd moved to selling full-time books, I didn't want to get rid of my whole death pile of clothes and shoes. I was kind of keeping it as a bit of a security blanket because the books were selling really well during the pandemic and I didn't know if that would continue or how long I would remain doing books for full-time. Now, I've been in lockdown here for the last seven weeks and I've been starting to get a little bit bored with listing the books that I had simply because I can't source anything new and exciting. I don't have any bundles here to list which are the items that bring me the most money. I feel like the only books that I've got here to list at the moment are the $15 to $20 filler books and I don't just want to be filling my store up with fillers. So yesterday I decided I'd start getting into some of these clothes. So I pulled out two bags from my storage. Over the last week, I've been listing shoes and plush toys and miscellaneous items that I've had in storage. But yesterday I thought, oh, I'll get the ironing board out. I'll start ironing some of these clothes and I'll start getting them photographed here on my flat lay. I still don't have a hook. So I decided to leave the, the dresses and stuff to last and just focus on all the things that I could flat lay. Now I bought this pair of shorts out. They didn't really need any ironing. They're just a pair of nice rip curl shorts, summer shorts, casual. I cut the tag off, $5 from the Salvo stores. And I started smoothing them out for the flat lay. And over here, I could feel something padded. And it felt like a square folded up hanky. Now, only a couple of pairs of shorts before this, I had pulled out some disgusting old tissues from another pocket. Now, I don't know about you, but as a reseller, it's one of my least favorite jobs is putting my hands into unknown pockets. It's just gross some of the things that you find. Now, this particular pair of shorts had one of those back pockets that I could pull open and actually look straight into it to see what was in it before I grabbed it. Oh my goodness, this this is what I saw. Now the money was separated into a square just like this. So I opened the first lot. Fifty, a hundred, hundred and fifty, two hundred. Two hundred dollars in the first little pile. Now this one was bigger. I opened it up. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 550, 6, 657, 758, 859, 950, $1,000. $1,200. <laughs> I found $1,200 in the back of a pair of shorts that I bought at the thrift store for $5. Are you freaking kidding me? Who carries around this type of money just sitting in their pocket? Not me. Holy moly, $1,200. Now there's always the moral dilemma that goes through your mind when you find a large sum of money because clearly somebody is missing this amount of money unless they're absolutely loaded and didn't even remember it was in their pocket. <laughs> but I haven't sourced any of these clothes since before April last year. After 18 months, there's no chance of finding the person who left $1,200 in their back pocket. <laughs> So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to accept this as a gift from the universe. We have been in lockdown for seven weeks and Aaron has only been able to work for about the last week of lockdown. So we have been down a lot of our regular income with him not being able to earn any money because he's self-employed, no work, no pay. Um, I've also taken quite a lot of time off my eBay store this last few months and I've only just started to kind of work it back up. So financially, we've kind of taken a bit of a kick over the last four or five months. This will come in very, very handy for my family. I do know that when lockdown is over and the charity stores are open, the first store I'm going to go back to is Salvos and put some of this money back into their stores by buying some new stock from them. I hope this person was somebody who was rich. <laughs> 
um, I hope it wasn't somebody who, you know, desperately needed that money. In my head, I'm trying to tell myself they must have had a lot of money to have forgotten about this in a back pair of short pockets, put the shorts away in their drawer, and then come around to the next season or something. They've just donated them without even looking in the pockets because they haven't worn them for so long. This is actually the second time I found quite a large chunk of money from buying something at the thrift store. Let me tell you about the other time. A couple of years ago, I found a little glass bowl in a charity shop and it was in a box. And when I took the bowl out of the box to photograph, there was like a tissue wrapped around something underneath it. When I opened it up, there was a there was like a bar coaster and there was $700 similar to this, $50 notes just piled like this with a with a coaster, like a drinks coaster wrapped with a tissue and that was underneath the bowl. And you know, when I found that one, I was in the same dilemma. And I really kind of felt like that one had come from probably a deceased estate, like an older person's stash of money. Whereas this feels different being in the back pocket of, um, you know, a pair of shorts that are worn by somebody fairly youngish. I feel lucky for finding this. I feel thankful. I'm wondering if it's a sign from the universe that I need to go back selling clothes. <laughs> Is the universe telling me, Mel, there is money in clothes. <laughs> what are you doing? Sell the damn clothes. <laughs> I do know that we've lost income these last couple of months. And, you know, we've just gone through a lot of expenses setting up the shed and moving it. And so I think I'm just going to accept this with gratitude and be very, very, very thankful. Guys, I want to know, have you ever found any money or anything really cool in a charity shop find? Drop it down in the comments. Tell me if you've found something really cool or tell me if you found something really gross, like a dead mouse in a pair of shoes. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> I reckon some of you Americans have got stories about those bins that you have because we don't have the bins here. But I reckon in those bins you must find some pretty gross stuff. <laughs> Does anyone get lucky at the bins? <laughs> but don't forget, guys, check the pockets. Check the pockets before you photograph them and list them. Don't shoot me for wanting to keep the money. <laughs> Honestly, if I felt like I could find the person to give it back to, I would go about that. But there's just absolutely no hope. So finders keepers, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to link another video here. I'd love you to go watch another one of my videos. And if you're new here and you want to learn some tips about eBay, I've got plenty to share. So make sure you hit the subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye, guys.